Hey guys, uh, welcome uh, to our channel. It's uh, The Flying Hens. My name's Chris and uh, I'm just going to talk about the dreaded shower track and how dirty and messy this can get uh, and how hard it is to clean. So we're going to do something by actually just removing this whole thing all together and swap it out and put in a nice simple cur shower curtain uh, and reduce a little bit of weight, but at the same time, just uh, that dreaded cleaning project that you have to do every now and then. Um, this is gonna be a simple project. Right up here, we've got a screw on the top and another screw on the top here. That'll remove this top bar along with the three glass panels uh, down the sides. So over here, you're gonna have a screw, one screw, and another screw on the bottom. Rotate around and you can see the one screw, one screw, uh, two, another screw, and a screw on the bottom. And uh, that will free it up. It looks like there's just a little bit of caulking on the, uh, on the bottom to hold that in place. And we should be able to kind of pry that out once uh, we remove those side screws. Once we remove everything, We'll clean up all the caulking around the edges here and uh, fill in the holes uh, in the wall with caulk and try to smooth it out the best we can. And then install the shower curtain and we should be good. All right, so those two uh, screws out of place there, this should lift up. Uh, just clear the sidebars and be able to kind of pivot and rotate out. I'm going to try to do it all together with the glass uh, in place, but you can see just how nasty this glass is. One main reason why we want to remove this all together, but here we go. Okay. You know what? I'll just pull the glass out this way. Set that aside. Now, just pull this, this out. I have the two side rails to do now with just the four screws that are here. This is Phillips head. So it has a little bit of a caulk line right here. Uh, we could, I'm sure we'll just break it apart like that. Same thing on this side. And I do not see any screws on this. Should just peel away like that. And caulk line on that. Nasty water that's been in there for I don't know how long. So now there's a little bit of this uh, old caulk residue here that I'm just using a plastic straight edge, old hotel room key, to get most of that off without scratching the shower. And I'll do this all the way down and uh, it leaves a little bit of a residue, as you can see right there, still stuck on there. A little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, denatured alcohol, shouldn't affect the, uh, the shower too much. Sometimes uh, plastic might be affected by alcohol, uh, depending on the, on the surface. But what I've done now is I've taken the screw that's holding this in place on the wall uh, the tub surround. I've taken that out of its hole there. I'm going to go ahead and backfill that hole with some of the silicone and then set the screw back in there so it has a nice seal around that screw since we've now exposed all these screws. I'm not a fan of them being brass so I'll probably replace those with some white headed screws at a later point but just for now I want to get those all 
uh, siliconed up and then we'll go in and we'll just fill these old holes in with silicone and uh, flatten it out and wipe away all the excess with some like a wet paper towel and try to keep it as smooth as possible. As you can see now there's a nice little bead of silicone around that screw head and uh, water shouldn't penetrate in there. I'm going to repeat that for all the other ones. So as you can see as we took this bottom screw out there's a little bit of uh, brown uh, dirtiness in here. Uh, a little bit of that is actually corrosion on this screw head showing that water is getting in there so uh, removing this track will be a good thing. Uh, because we can seal all that up and make sure that there is no water penetrating behind the wall or into the walls there. Uh, the other thing is, is when I do replace these screws, I'm going to make sure that they are stainless uh, screws so that we don't have any more of that corrosion. So I'll go ahead and finish cleaning this up. And as you can see, I started doing it here. I'll do one more layer after this dries. And then we might add a touch of uh, white paint there just to make it fit in, but or to make it uh, blend in. But otherwise, uh, we'll be uh, all set here and ready to just put in the new uh, shower curtain. And then uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the where the screw was it right here in this hole. I'm going to plug up this hole. I'm going to move the screw to here on that hole right there a little bit higher so that if there is a little bit of water that comes down here, it's fully sealed and it's not able to penetrate behind the screw. All right, so I'm going to be putting up a curtain rod right here. Uh, it's going to, of course, go all the way across here. Kind of angles out a little bit, gives us a little more room. Just a quick little two screws into the wall here. Not a big deal here, but the screws that came with it were too long for this side because we have the pocket door right here the bottom screw would be dragging along this uh, door. So I've got to go and find a shorter screw for the bottom one, but uh, the concept is still the same. All right, so on this side, uh, because this wall is actually a hollow wall, I went ahead and used the anchors uh, for the screws here and uh, used a quarter inch drill bit to drill those holes. And there we have a curtain rod. Just add the curtain and then we'll be good to go.